in preparing for an essay exam, largely it's going to be the class readings, the textbook, and your class notes from lectures and discussions that you have to rely on as your sources of information. Try to anticipate, if not the actual questions, should you not have them, try to anticipate the areas, the subjects, the topics that your professor is likely to ask you on any exam going through the course, the syllabus, the notes, the lectures that you'll be studying. Ask questions of your notebooks. What happened? Why did it happen? What were the causes of these events or developments? And why are they important? What do they mean? Studying this way has a number of advantages. First of all, it will help you eliminate material that is irrelevant or less relevant to your project. It will also help you see what you don't know. If you're just trying to memorize material, you may well memorize it and know it, and it may have, help, have nothing to do with helping you answer a question that you get on an exam. But if you can't explain why something happened, if you can't explain a cause that led to a particular effect, you'll know that you have a problem when you're studying. You'll know that there's a gap in your knowledge. That's the time to ask your professor a question. If you can answer those questions while you're studying about the topics that you've covered um, for a given exam, you will be well ahead of the game and uh, as I said I think you'll you will be more relaxed more sure of yourself more confident in your knowledge when you come to take the exam. This is an example of one of the study cards that I would typically make this was for Robespierre one of the leaders of the French Revolution and the questions one of my professors taught me to answer when I made index cards was always to answer who, when, where, and why. So when I make the card I just write one or two sentences that answers those questions. So who was he? He was a French politician and leader. When, the reign of terror, and then I also have a date, the 1790s. And why, his key role, he helped to develop the reign of terror. I use flashcards if I know there's identifications. If it's an essay, I will sit down and write an outline. Um, study groups, I'm in a big favor for study groups. Um, even for people who are like, well, I don't really know anyone in my class. I'm like, just, just generally discuss it. Just bring it up and say, hey, you know, I'm going to be in the library studying at this time. If anyone wants to join me, I think it would really help us. Study groups really helps, especially if they're essay-based questions, because you can discuss it. As you take one history course and another, another, you, you get better at analyzing, making arguments, identifying themes. And so it's, it's just kind of a, a building blocks process. I mean, that's how it is for me now. <laughs> I mean, memorization is there, but it's, it's more of recognizing different themes.